All right, questions on the go. Got uh, two or three more of these videos to cover. Everyone who left a question in uh, in the comments of that poll I posted. So the first one is about baseball. You could read it verbatim uh, on the bottom. So, uh, I don't know, it's the one that was on TV when I was growing up. Uh, my parents were more into baseball than basketball. Into Duke basketball a little, Knicks basketball a little in the 90s, but into baseball like all the time, not into football so much. And yeah, my games were on a lot. Played, played Little League. Um, for some reason, you were able to play Little League at age six. Little League baseball, Little League basketball at age seven. So, um, baseball was the first thing, and it was on TV all the time. Also, baseball is the reason why I keep stats the way I do, because baseball players on TV had all these stats on the screen all the time, and I'm like, where are my stats? As well, when you're like eight years old playing Little League baseball, you wanna know your stats, you gotta keep track of them yourself. So keep track of everything during the game, get home, instantly write it all down, and then after a few games after the season, you can analyze uh, how you were doing, just for fun, or where you need to improve, things like that. So, I've been keeping track of my stuff since like, very early age. Um, favorite player of all time, Ray Ordonez, best defensive shortstop of all time. I know what you're gonna say, Ozzy Smith, Omar Vizquel. They were very good, they did it for longer, of course. I think that's why most people put them at one and two, but Ordonez was better, so. Uh, his career just wasn't quite as long. Uh, favorite active player is a great question. Maybe Brandon Nimmo? Lifetime Met so far. All right, question from someone who lives in Australia. Am I ever gonna go to Australia for poker? Melbourne has great games 24 seven. Probably never going there for that reason. I definitely might be in Australia someday. The reason, I can't see the reason being poker. A uh, question about some of my poker stats from last year. So I will put the link to the top of the screen, a link at the top of the screen to the video where I covered some uh, characteristics about my income from last year. Hours, uh, hours, I'll put it on the screen. I think it was 1,563 and change, but uh, the number on the screen is correct. Stakes, you know, one, two, and one, three. No limit like always. I play limit while I'm waiting in Bally's and occasionally play 4-8 Omaha 8 in South Point. I don't think I did that last year. Definitely did it in 2022. I don't think I played Omaha 8 last year though. And uh, the cities. The cities, let's make some room on the screen. The list on the screen is exact. I'll put it together while I'm editing. From memory, of course, Vegas, all those, all those California cities. There was 10 rooms in California I played last year. Um, the Phoenix metropolitan area had two different cities officially. Um, State Line, Nevada, which is Lake Tahoe, uh, Council Bluffs. And then on the drives cross trip that I stop anywhere else. Atlantic City, I think, is gonna be on there. And uh, that, that could be it, mostly like Vegas in terms of time, and then mostly the state of California with those 10 different rooms. Have I ever been playing in Westgate when Barge is there? Capital B-A-R-G-E, yeah. I don't know what it stands for. From what I hear, it's like uh, back in the day when like AOL chat rooms were things, before they were just places for uh, like sex predators to stalk people. Uh, it was like a group of people who talked poker and met occasionally to play live and that group still meets at Westgate. I have been in Westgate while they were meeting and playing just outside the room. I've never played uh, with them. The next two questions are from a very long time ago, like several months ago. This was what kind of when I was putting questions together informally that people were just leaving in the comments, not this poll that I put up like a month ago. Um, Baccarat Messiah asked how long I've been doing this for a living. The first time I did it for a living, Poker was 2015, most years since then, but started in 2015. And then the question from Road Racer Dave, I'm walking right here, was um, how do I get mail? Because I live on the road. Uh, if I, I mean, most things that are important are email. So there's not a huge deal for mail. If there's really something tangible that I need, I have someone I know mail it to a FedEx office. Flamingo has one, this one in Paris I just walked by, Harris has one, uh, there's probably other places on the strip that have them. Uh, if you ever are visiting Vegas and need to get like a package, just go to the website, cat type, type in like FedEx office Flamingo. There's a very specific way they want you to address the, the package or the letter or the envelope. Just follow the, follow the instructions and it, it gets here, it's not free. You need to pay, I think it's $7 per piece whether it's a letter or uh, one of those like, you know, one of those long envelopes where you put in paper that's not folded or whether it's a package, I think it's just $7 per item. 
and then you can get something while you're on the strip very easily. And final question in this video, what other YouTube channels do I watch? Probably the only one I watch every video of is a Simple Living Alaska, a couple that moved from Oregon to Alaska, they live off grid, they moved to Alaska, then they moved even like farther into the like middle of nowhere uh, about a year ago, about a year and a half ago. Um, they have chickens, they have pets, they have, uh, I don't know, like snowmobiles, they go fishing, they go hunting, they've, uh, you know, harvested their own moose, caribou, things like that. Um, how to barbecue right? I used to watch a lot. It's tough for a cooking channel to like last forever. Cause I mean, do you really have like one recipe a week for the rest of your life? I feel like Malcolm Reed is kind of run out of ideas. There's a lot of time between videos now and there's uh, I just feel like a lot of things are kind of like, he's cooked this already. It's just like very slightly different. Still like it, but I don't watch like every single one like I used to. So uh, those are probably the two I watch or recently watched every video of. And remember, rice is a spoon food.